Undoubtedly the smartest personality type is the Sigma I NFJ. But why do they fail to acknowledge their internal resources? Here are 10 reasons why the Sigma I NFJ has an unheard of or exceptional level of wisdom. Number 10, unless asked, they typically reserve their opinions. A Sigma is rarely audible. INFJ fight against obnoxious, aggressive, chatty, and talkative persons that contribute little to no understanding to conversations. Most of the time, they simply watch and wait while they actively listen, silently observe, and speak. Unless everyone is prepared to listen, they won't express their ideas and positions. If not, they'll just blend into the background noise. Others immediately express their thoughts after they occur to them. But Sigma INFJs first consider whether their ideas are worthwhile before they express them. They always make sense in deep conversations because of this. However, because they don't want to disturb other people's loudness, they frequently end up being completely unheard of and unprecedented. They only ever share their knowledge once the excitement has passed, and they get the opportunity to speak. What comes to mind is a Sigma INFJ when you hear noisy, superficial people sharing ideas. Number 9. They never assert that they are all wise. As modest beings, Sigma INFJs will never assert their omniscience. They constantly acknowledge their flaws and mistakes. They will openly own their ignorance when they don't know anything. When they don't have the answers to a query, they will be upfront about it. Because they can't harm their reputation, they don't put much effort into it or act like they know everything. As the mentality that is most intelligent, INFJs who are Sigma don't even give a damn what people think of them. They don't care if people think they're stupid and foolish. Because they deeply understand that they are constantly learning and developing. They don't mind making their level of wisdom unmatched as a final point. Because they aren't afraid to acknowledge their shortcomings. Number 8. They rely on data rather than conjecture. The level of wisdom possessed by the Sigma I NFJ is unmatched because they conduct research rather than making assumptions. Whereas most people consider their presumptions to be wise without being aware of it. INFJs with the Sigma personality type are aware that human judgment might occasionally be suspect. They acknowledge that prior notions might be arbitrary and that one shouldn't use them to criticize another. Instead, they rely on the facts to prevent interpreting anything incorrectly. They look to their internal dialogue and query. How can I be sure that what I believe is accurate? How would you respond to this question as a Sigma I NFJ? Number 7. They rely on data rather than conjecture. The level of wisdom possessed by the Sigma I NFJ is unmatched. Because they conduct research rather than making assumptions. Whereas most people consider their presumptions to be wise, without being aware of it. INFJs with the Sigma personality type are aware that human judgment might occasionally be suspect. They acknowledge that prior notions might be arbitrary and that one shouldn't use them to criticize another. Instead, they rely on the facts to prevent interpreting anything incorrectly. They look to their internal dialogue and query. How can I be sure that what I believe is accurate? How would you respond to this question as a Sigma I NFJ? Number 6. They have a low-key level of expertise. The fact that the Sigma I NFJ doesn't really care who finds out about their insight is another factor that makes it entirely unheard of. Sigma I NFJs are the last to boast about their intelligence, wisdom, and skill. They are the last to make a public display of their knowledge and skill by putting themselves in the spotlight. They reject the approval and interest of the outside world. All they need to do is develop and become better people every day, so that they might realize their ideal selves. INFJs with the Sigma personality type are focused on developing their inner selves. Sigma INFJs will never use the knowledge they have acquired along the way to enhance their reputation or win favor with others. Do you also acknowledge being a low-key expert as an INFJ?
Number five are not like those pious people who try to instill their own values in others. Sigma sum INFJs are forceful. However, that does not imply that they impose their beliefs and values on others. Instead, they value people's various viewpoints and ideas on various subjects. Since they are aware that everyone has different attitudes, backgrounds, priorities, and cultures, they let people believe what they want to. So they ponder, who am I to rule over and make decisions for others? A maturity of Sigma INFJs allows them to have a limited influence over other people's life. They want to know where others draw the line so they can respect it and stop there. Unlike self-righteous people who believe they have the right to invalidate other people's beliefs just because they differ from their own. INFJs with the Sigma personality type don't care if their wisdom is unknown. They value the fact that they were able to appreciate everyone's point of view. Number four, they become less intelligent. Observing the shallowness of some people and how insanely they talk to one another. Their deep ideologies and intricate reasoning are alien to Sigma INFJs. Everyone appears to be settling into their usual routines, so maybe they can find someone to share their feelings with, and they could find it difficult to relate to the advice they give. Therefore, rather than having in-depth discussions or imparting their profound principles to others, they believed that suppressing them would be preferable. Complexity and intricacy have no place in their physical context. Consequently, they don't see the point in sharing their knowledge. If they try, they either get laughed at or ignored. Do you want to meet someone who can understand your intricacy as a Sigma INFJ? Number three, they hold the opinion that everyone experiences life differently. As someone who respects and acknowledges the individuality of each person, INFJs with the Sigma personality type have little trouble keeping their own values to themselves. Instead of utilizing these principles to influence others, they believed it would be wiser to live by them themselves. They also won't deny anyone the chance to benefit from their opinions and experiences, though. So long as they can discern their enthusiasm and openness, they would even value it if someone spent an hour or two talking with them and really getting to know them. They are cognitively stimulated by this encounter, too. However, it also demonstrates to them that having a companion can be fun, even though it occasionally crosses their minds that they could bore their listener. They don't really care how the talk turns out, either. It's because their pleasure and quality of life won't depend on the result, whatever it may be. Number two, nobody wants to listen to them in the first place. One Sigma INFJ thinks that it's impossible to live out one's primary principles if they lack the determination to constantly put them into practice. As a result, they worry that imparting their knowledge and experience to friends and family members who are still engrossed in sensual pursuits may turn them off. INFJs don't see the value in sharing anything with anyone at this time. Nobody wants to listen to someone's speech unless it is relatable. Similarly, unless what they need to say is in line with what they believe, no one will pay attention to it. Do you feel irritated by this as a sigma eyed NFJ? Number one, instead of using coercion, they naturally encourage people. When sigma INFJs try to make someone do or say something by establishing fear in their brains, they are never heard. A sigma INFJ can never be seen attempting to frighten another person into following their direction. Sigma INFJs, on the other hand, are effortless, naturally domineering, and strong leaders. They lead by being fearless role models and showing others that something is possible by taking the initiative. They want to convey to everyone that just because something is challenging doesn't mean it is impossible or reachable. It just means that pursuing it requires courage, and the more bravery is needed, the more satisfying the outcomes will be. From that point on, people would heed their advice and appreciate them automatically. However, this leadership talent and excellent principles won't be known by the public. In contrast, Sigma INFJs allow people's consent to flow naturally rather than enforcing it. 
Sigma INFJs are unique in their ways of being. Everything they do, from their reading preferences to their way of living, contributes to their intelligence. Do you acknowledge that as an INFJ Sigma you possess unheard of principles? Do you also possess the fortitude to put them into daily practice?